everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 415. I'm Nate Moore. Spent some time on site at a surgical practice in the southeast last week. We were there two days, and by the end of those two days, we had a whole lot more information, a whole lot faster, a lot more automated, a whole lot easier to use. So now they're spending more time acting on the reports than running them. If I can spend a couple of days on site at your practice and do the same thing, I'd love to. We're going to keep working on macros today and debugging. I want to show you a tool called the immediate window, Alt F11 to bring up the Visual Basic Editor. There's two ways to get to it. From the view menu, you might choose immediate window this way. I always do Control G, but you can get there either way. What the immediate window does is, for want of a better term, it's like a scorecard or a scoreboard down here that keeps track of the values of variables and things as they change in your macro. So what we might do is let's come up here and let's just do our basic F8 thing that we've been doing for a while. And you can do F8 as you go through here. What you can do is you can do a command like let's do print and then oh let's do selection dot address. So what the print command is going to do is it's going to say show me in the immediate window what address we're at now. And so if I hit return here, it's going to say, Nate, you're at F11, which if I came back over here, that's where I'm starting. And the, the macro hasn't moved me yet. So if I came back over here and said, all right, let's keep running the macro. Let's do F8. And now it's going to go make things. Uh, the next step is going to be to make the selection false. But notice I've changed the selection up here. Now I'm from A1 to K1. So if I came back over here. I could retype this if I wanted to, but I'm just going to come back and highlight this line and hit enter. And notice this is where I used to be, and it kind of scrolls, and at the top it shows the last time I ran this command. So now my selection address is A1 to K1, and I can keep running my macro. Now notice in the immediate window, these values don't change until I come over here and well let's let's change this selection let's go a little bit further let's go back to a1 select and do that now if I do this selection address now I'm at cell a1 and so this doesn't change until I ask it for more information the other thing you can do besides typing print here I could always come over here and you can do the question mark selection and then the other thing I could do is I could do value instead of address the address says where is my cell a1 you know K1, wherever I am, selection.value will tell me, if I hit return, that in the cell I'm in, the value is date. So I could come up over here, selection address, I'm still in A1, and my selection value is date. I could make this immediate window bigger or move it around if I wanted to. But if I come over here, sure enough, I'm in cell A1, and the value is date. See how that works? The idea is the immediate window will let me ask questions if you will and say where am I what's going on what's the value of this what's the value of that and you can use the immediate window to debug and see well okay when I make it through this part of the code the value is this but here's where it changes okay why did it change or why did it not change and you where you can work your way through things for example if I was trying to figure out what the value of an allowed amount on a contract should be I might first look up the value and say okay you know what does Blue Cross pay on this code for example and then I could go through and say, okay, what modifiers are applied? Is there a multiple uh, procedure discount? Are there other things going on that may change that value? And over each piece of my code, I could say, okay, here's the value started at zero. And then I looked it up and I saw that the reimbursement was $80.20. And then I added the modifier and it did this. And then I did that. And you can use the immediate window to keep track of things by simply asking a, you know, asking a question with either print or the question mark and hitting return and it'll tell you so you can keep going down through our macro and you can come back over here and it will tell you as you go through here what's going on that's what I want to show you about the immediate window today where it is control G and then two ways to get information out of it the print command or the question mark will return in the immediate window information about your code so you can debug as you go that's what I wanted to show you in this Excel video. Stay tuned. I've got some more debugging shortcuts and trying to figure out what the value is of code as things move through. We'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.